Hi, my name is Travis Lindsay. I'm here for the Center for Entrepreneurship at Cal State Fullerton. And with me today is one of my colleagues, uh, Victor Macias. I've known him since uh, we were actually both in school at the same time, right, Victor? Yeah, man, we've been friends uh, for a long time. And it's, it's been pretty cool to see how our, our journeys have kind of keep intertwining. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 weird. It's like just like a, a, a electrons in a field, you know, every once in a while we'll, we'll zip by each other. Uh, but now, fortunately, we're we're working together, and we've uh, we, we've been working on something that uh, I think is really interesting. I think that uh, a lot of people watching this will want to hear more about. It. And so, Victor, can you tell us a little bit about that online course that you uh, uh, almost single handedly created? We developed it as a team, uh, but you know, we were we were asked a question: How can we create and foster community for social enterprise? For social entrepreneurship and um we recently received a grant it's um it's part of collaborative called north star oc where the goal was to remove barriers and make it easy for people to access entrepreneurship specifically social enterprise so um started thinking about how can we best serve those people and for me it's how do we create value up front right so uh, came up with a seven module course called Launch Your Social Enterprise that people can join and sign up for free. And it'll walk you through the whole process of idea to launch. And the goal is to create a business, yes, to profit, but also to impact society in different ways that are meaningful to you and meaningful to the world. Very good. Yeah. So, uh, uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about was uh, maybe give people a little bit of an overview of what the what what the course is going to all be about. So people go and I'll, I'll put the link to the uh, landing page sure. in the description. So people go there, they sign up, and then module one, introduction to social enterprise. What what yeah. what, what should they expect there? Is it just hi? This is this is what a social enterprise is. Uh, you know, here's your badge. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so I'll go through each module. So module one is introduction to social enterprise. And a big part of it is understanding how social enterprise is different from a nonprofit and different from a traditional uh, venture, right? So we, we share real world examples. We also talk about the mindset that it takes to be an entrepreneur. Um, a lot of times it takes longer than you think. It takes more money than you think. But when you when you have this um, and can understand this ahead of time, it allows you to plan and allow it increases your odds of success. So that's really social. So it's it, the introduction. It's the mindset as well as what's unique about this and how can we set up the foundation for success. Um, then we have the module, module two, which is on identifying a social problem. So one of the biggest mistakes that entrepreneurs make is they lead with a solution, right? They, they say, I, I have an idea for a product. I just know it's going to work. And what do we do? We spend a bunch of time, a bunch of resources, and we launch only to find out that nobody wants that which we wanted to create and give to the world. So what this does, it actually takes a lot of uh, lean. It's called lean startup. It's lean startup principles. And we, we focus on what is the social problem? How can it be measured? How can we get data research? How can we basically come up with a thesis where we understand what the problem is and then align a solution to fit it, which ties me into module three. It's once we understand the problem, and again, this is kind of an assumption, right? We don't know for sure, but it at least, at least, at least allows us to, to aim better. So once we have that assumption, it's what is a potential solution that we can create to solve this problem. So here we, we walk through brainstorming techniques, how to actually test the feasibility, right? Like, can you actually create this successfully? Uh, one of the things that, that I talk about that I really like is we align you as the entrepreneur with the solution, right? So how, how do we align your strengths, what you're passionate about with what you want to create so that it can solve the problem that you want to solve? Uh, we touch a little bit on what's called the MVP, which is a minimum viable product. 
and we teach you how to assess the opportunity. So does it make sense to pursue? Uh, you want me to jump onto module four or, or you want to pause there? No, I mean, uh, one of the things that uh, really strikes me is that, um, and, and I know we, we've had these conversations before, but uh, basically a lot of the content that is in these different modules, especially the ones you just went over, I mean, it, it's it's the same kind of content that, you know, I, I teach in the classroom to, to students who are looking for just just normal traditional kinds of businesses. So uh, it is. Uh, so people might be wondering, okay, I mean, so what what exactly is is the key difference here? I mean, I, I know it's more of a, a so, uh, focus on social problems, but are there any uh, additional like regulations or any laws that people have to focus uh, or have to be aware of, or is it all more about just the the mindset? It's a combination, and you're right, and I think that's a critical thing to talk about is these are foundational skills for entrepreneurship, right? You want to understand how to choose your target market, identify a problem, create a solution, right? Those are fundamental. What makes this unique is we have a layer on top of that that's specific to social enterprise. So the examples, the case studies, as I'm walking you through these modules, I'm showing you how you can take these principles and align them, right? So as an example, instead of just talking about profit, we talk about the triple bottom line, right? Which is profit, people, and planet. It's it's how do we create a business model, which is the foundation, a foundational principle, but align it with these other elements of social enterprise so it, it's really that kind of that intersection where, where i think there's a lot of unique value in this uh program gotcha okay so uh would you say that this program uh so one of the things that i noticed uh back when i was at cal state fullerton full-time teaching students uh working with people at the incubator was that there was already some kind of a social component uh, incorporated into their business. I mean, is that is that a trend that you've seen in, in what you've done, maybe in some of the startups that you've done, uh, some of the people that you know, the students, or, I mean, how, how prevalent is this? How, how many people are even going to be interested in this? So it's it's definitely a, a trend that's, that's growing. Um, I remember when I was in college many moons ago, you know, entrepreneurship was really more about how can I get that Ferrari, right? How can I make as much money and profit as possible? And while profit is still definitely a driver, especially in business, it, it's become more about how can we also impact the world? How can we care about the environment? How can we solve social issues and use a business to do it? Uh, I guess one of the most prevalent examples is we think about Tom's shoes, right? It was a business model where the more shoes that were sold, the more the company was able to give away. Um, there was a moment um, a couple of years ago where I, I had this um, kind of this epiphany. I, I, was, I had hit a mental roadblock and I ended up taking a trip to uh, a pueblo or a city, a, a state in Mexico uh, called Oaxaca that is very known for the, like, the, the food and the culture and the artisan community. I show up and I fall in love with, just with the whole energy there. And I saw that, you know, there were these women that were making these bags, they were waste loom bags. So basically these are traditions that have been passed around for thousands of years. And they're making these bags by hand with yarn, with cotton, and they're weaving the bags and it's taking them three weeks, four weeks to make like a batch of a hundred bags. And I'm like, how can I open this up to more people? And, the, and that was for me when it hit like, oh my God, I can create a successful business that also impacts these people directly. I can pay them fairly. I can pay them on time. I can pay them ahead of time, right? So, so it was this, this understanding that with business, I was able to also change the world in terms of just changing the socioeconomic status or, or, you know, in a number of different ways, but that's what I started noticing. And, that, and as I've grown as an entrepreneur, I'm realizing, and I'm seeing these trends more and more, right? If we're talking about coffee, where are the um, beans grown? Is it sustainable farming? Are we 
um, educating and empowering people? Are we paying our employees fairly? All of that is social enterprise. So if you're an existing company, you might already have an element of that. And this can kind of help you integrate it. If you're starting new, this can help you get off on the right foot um, by aligning those things. Very cool. Very cool. All right. So let, let, let's get back to the modules then. So we left off <clears throat> uh, with module four, uh, which is the MVP validating your idea. And that's the uh, lean startup process of build, measure, learn, build, measure, learn, you know, keep on doing it, you know, and, and it eventually gets better. So like the Google search engine, uh, originally it wasn't that great, but they put it out there. They measured the results, they learned from them and they rebuilt it and they, they, they kept on iterating until you have the Google search that you have today. Uh, so let's, uh, uh, do you have anything else to say about module yeah. four, the MVP, or would, do you want to move on to module five? No, I think module, I think MVP is, is the missing piece that a lot of entrepreneurs miss <laughs> and it's that you don't have to or shouldn't go all in on your idea unless you've tested right so you, you talked about um you know some examples we also have uh one of my favorite examples of an mvp is from zappos the shoe store when the founder was first starting and wanted to know if this was going to work he didn't buy a bunch of inventory. He didn't create like a fully functioning website and then see, and then see if it was going to work. What he did was he actually went to different shoe stores and he made a deal with the owners of the store and said, look, can I come in here, take a picture of your shoes, put them online, and if somebody buys on my website, I will come back to your store, pay you full price, and then ship the, ship the shoes. His purpose of doing that through his MVP was to test if this was even going to be viable before he moved forward and did other, you know, decided to scale. So in module four, we walk through some very specific ways and examples that you can test your idea within days, within weeks, and know if it's going to work and know whether you should pivot. So that's what I love about module four. And then module five is about funding. All right. So, okay, now we know there's, we know the problem. We know the solution, we've tested it. Now, how do we go about funding this? And here we talk about different funding strategies, everything from traditional you know, bank loans, credit cards to grants. We talk about uh, startup pitch competitions. We touch on crowdfunding, just a, a lot of different options and a lot of different strategies that you can choose to fund your business. Yeah, I, so I, 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 I think module five, I mean, that, that's a critically important one. I mean, I, I, literally every entrepreneur I know at some point has come up to me and say, hey, I, I, I need money. And uh, that's great. I understand. Uh, we all need more money. And it'd be great if you had that additional funding to do what you want to do. But I mean, there's only so much to go around. And so there, there are other options. There's a ton of different options. So, you know, everything from bootstrapping where, you know, yes. that, that, that could, you know, tie it back into module four, validating your MVP, where you, you, you start smaller and you build upon that success over time. It may take a little bit longer, but uh, some way to argue that's still, you know, even, even if that is the case, that it will take a little bit longer. That's the better way to go. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, that, and I, I really love that module. You, you go over a ton of different, uh, 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 of different options when it comes to funding. So th th that's a really strong one. Yeah, thank you, man. And, and and I, again, putting this together was a collaborative effort. Um, I can tell you firsthand experience. I have bootstrapped um, my last startup. We started with about three grand each, me and my, my business partner. Um, we grew that to about seven figures. And then from seven figures, we did a, a round of friends and family, angel uh, investing. We've also done crowdfunding, raised over a hundred grand on crowdfunding. So I know that a, a lot of the people that sign up here um, are going to be scrappy entrepreneurs. So there's a lot of very specific strategies that you can learn and that will really help. Um, yeah, 100%, so 100%. I'm sorry. Yeah. So uh I guess we we move on to module six now, right? Launching and scaling yeah. your business. Yeah. So launching and scaling. Uh, um, once we hit, we have a strategy for funding and we're starting to to get traction, that's really where module six comes in. It's like, how do you get your first batch of customers? How do you 
um, market. So once you understand who your customer is, how do you actually market? How do you scale? Um, one of the biggest takeaways here is that you need a different mindset for every stage of business that you're in, right? When you're pre-launch, it's a certain strategy. When you launch, it's a certain strategy. When you uh, grow to, when you start to scale, it's a different strategy. Also, if you're struggling in business, it's declining, there's different strategies. So here, it, it's really about how to execute and how to take all of these things that we've learned and really implement them effectively, um, how to set goals, how to stay on track and, and how to measure success, which is, I think, the big takeaways of, of that module. Very good. And then the final module, overcoming challenges and staying motivated. That's another thing that every entrepreneur I've ever encountered and students, everybody who's wanted to be an entrepreneur, you know, frankly, just everybody, you know, staying motivated. It's it, it's tough. And there's kind of a cottage industry that's been built up all around <laughs> that to begin, you know, just to begin with. So oh, yeah. so what, what what do you have to say about about that overcoming challenges and staying motivated? I think um, it's funny. As entrepreneurs, when we look at these modules, we often think that number seven is the one that we least need to think about or worry about, right? I need the tactical stuff. I don't need the mindset stuff. Being a practicing entrepreneur for many years, I believe that module seven is the most important because it is about mindset. It's not if you're going to have challenges, it's understanding that challenges are a part of growth. It's about learning how to uh, be growth minded. It's, it's about what to do when you have setbacks. Um, we talk about depression. We talk about anxiety, all things that most entrepreneurs experience, but very few talk about. So, but by really mastering your mindset is, is what I, what I feel is going to allow people to be successful because business, yes, it's about knowing the fundamentals right it's about execution but a lot of the success i believe comes from longevity being able to just keep going and that's where the motivation and the and the overcoming challenges and the mindset comes into play yeah i i, I think that there was um i, I remember teaching in the classroom uh, uh, there was some um research i think it was by carol dweck out of uh, stanford uh, don't quote me on that uh, and you, we, we can look it up but anyways uh what she found was that one of the big things that separated successful entrepreneurs from the ones that ended up failing was 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 grit right and, and this is something that goes back even you know thousands of years ago uh the, the stoics uh, and this was popularized uh, most recently by ryan holiday uh, but I think it was uh, Epictetus, you know, said something along the lines of like the obstacle is the way. And so you just, I mean, no matter what you do, no matter how successful you are, there's always going to be obstacles. And some of them may seem to be insurmountable. Maybe they are. But uh, the only way that you can succeed is you just have to keep on moving forward. It may not be the way you originally planned, but it's uh, still the, the momentum is what matters. Uh, completely. Yeah, completely agree. So uh, speaking of that, one of the things I know that is really helpful on that front about overcoming challenges and staying motivated is having a uh, community to go to, you know, somebody else to talk to. And I know that we just recently launched uh, the community that goes along with this course. Uh, can you talk a little bit about what your vision is for that? Yeah. So imagine when we think about community, imagine having a, a resource center, a place where you can connect with mentors, other students, where you can network that's the vision for the social enterprise network and if you join the course you automatically get access so we've just launched it we're we're working on a lot of content a lot of value to be added to it but what's great about this community is a few things one is we actually have um rooms dedicated to each module so if you're stuck on anything if you want to share your lean canvas your mvp ideas you can do it by room um we also have the ability to do live webinars live presentations so it's still a baby right now but i foresee this as being the hub for social entrepreneurship where people can connect and really grow and, and, and share share their progress Absolutely, yeah. I've I've been on there a little bit. Uh, there's already a, a, a little bit of activity. It's a little bit, uh, but yeah, I mean, we, I mean, we launched it a couple of days ago. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, 
th th that's the reality. It's, it's you know, we, we practice what we preach, right? It is an MVP. Uh, so it's going to improve over time. It's going to build up. And, you know, if everything goes to play, there's going to be a, a pretty vibrant community there in, in no time flat. All right. So uh, we, we've talked about people, you know, taking the course, joining the uh, online community. Now, let's say that there's this uh, entrepreneur who's gone through that whole process and they're looking to start their, their first business or maybe it's, you know, their fifth business, whatever the case may be. Yep. And uh, based off of everything they've read from, from what, what, we, what we've produced for them, uh, everything they've heard from, uh, you know, people on the uh, um, uh, online community is that it's best to have, you know, some advisors, some guides to help them actually launch their business. Uh, what, what would be their next step? Their next step is what I wish I would have had or done many years ago. I, I, I learned the hard way. Uh, uh, just a lot of bumps and bruises along the way, getting up, doing it again, getting up, doing it again. What we suggest is from this point that they apply for the startup incubator. So the startup incubator is a six month program where we pair entrepreneurs with mentors, with advisors. You check in weekly, you check in monthly, you get assigned a student team and it's all a roadmap designed to get you to be successful, right? So it's like, like if you're incubating a little egg, right? Where you want to hatch into a baby chicken, that's what the startup incubator is. So if you go through this course, you will be eligible to apply for the incubator. And if you're a good fit, uh, we would connect and um, see if, you know, if, if you would be a good fit so that we can pair you with uh, a mentor to succeed. All right. Very good. So uh, final thing, Victor, I promise. And I'll, I'll, I'll let you get back to uh, whatever it was you were doing, la launching another business or, or, you know, whatever it was. Actually, you know, I take that back. You did just launch a new business. Can you tell everybody a little bit about that? Um, I did. I did. A couple of days ago, actually, um, we launched uh, Santana Snacks, which is a line of organic snacks designed by the Hispanic Latino experience. So growing up in Santa Ana, I would hear the, the bell of the elote man or the ice cream man or, or the lady that was selling chips on the corner. And, and while the snacks were delicious and they evoke a sense of nostalgia, they're really bad for you, right? They're filled with a bunch of junk. So I said, how can I give people the same feeling, but give them something that's clean, that's organic, that is much better for you? And uh, I'm really excited to say that uh, we are in pre-launch right now um, and people are really excited. It's it's going viral um, and they're excited to to learn about what's coming up. But yeah, that's that's what I'm working on. Awesome. Yeah. So everybody check that out and I'll, I'll put a link to the information in the description for that. All right. So final thing, uh, we, we have the tight fast pitch coming up. Uh, that's where we challenge students to come up with a 90 second pitch. Uh, I believe this year, uh, the pitch is supposed to, or the, the, the theme rather is about social entrepreneurship and, uh, all that. Uh, so my challenge to you, Victor on the spot, I, and, and we didn't talk about this beforehand, was to give a is to give a 90 second pitch for the online course so whenever you are ready and as somebody who is a veteran pitcher this should be no issue for you oh my gosh but you know <laughs> could you give a 90 second pitch and how well you do on it you know just determines the whole fate of this whole program so you know okay. no pressure whenever you're ready take it away okay give me give me a couple of seconds need a hook um okay are you ready to change not just your life, but that of your community, that of the environment, that of the people that you care about? If so, I encourage you to join the Launch Your Social Enterprise course, where you are going to learn for free, step-by-step, step, what it takes to go from idea to impact. You're going to understand how to create frameworks. You're going to understand business modules, uh, business models. You're going to understand funding, financing. But more than that, you're going to learn how to take your experience and reshape the world. So I encourage you to join the program. It's free. Plus you get access to the launch your social enterprise network where you can network with, ex with experts, with mentors, get valuable resources and really get the information that it takes to get to the next level. 
Awesome. All right. Well, I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to invest, Victor. So, congratulations. Uh, so, uh, Victor, thank you very much. That 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 was great. Uh, great interview. Uh, is there anything else you would like to share with any with everybody? Um, I think the last thing is is the amount of value you get. Right. A lot of times, just as humans, we tend to devalue anything that's free. Right. We think, oh, it's free. It must it must be okay? No, you are getting experience expertise from some incredible collaborators you're getting um you know just so much value for free don't pass it up uh take advantage and this can really be a pivotal uh, moment in your life if you take advantage of it absolutely well thank you very much victor and uh we'll we'll see you around cheers thank you